We've got another anniversary, like I said, uh, 10 years for Metal Gear Rising. And uh, yeah, it came out on February 19th, 2013. Such a long time ago. Why is it so? It's yeah. so freaking long time ago. <laughs> I remember struggling, not struggling, but I remember having a hard time getting that game because it was not. It's it was not. I don't think it is not actually available on Steam in Japan. I wait. So, is it? No, no. It, it has to be because I bought. Not. I bought it here in Japan. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I bought it here in Japan. I had to VPN for. I, I'm gonna go check right now for you. If you go to Steam, oh, let me just tab out to my I, other browser. I feel like I feel like it is because I didn't. I don't think I bought it in the U.S. So if you go to SteamPower.com, and am I on the Japanese? Where do I even store? own that? Game? Yeah, these, this is this is yen. This is yen. Do I, I own to, this game twice? I think I own this game twice. I owned it. Yeah, Metal Gear Rising. Metal Gear Rising does not show up on the Japanese store. What did I? I guess I bought it while I was in the U.S. or something because this was the second game. Well, like I stream two games a month. This was my one, my first two games I streamed ever on Twitch. You probably bought it in the U.S. Same with Tales of Bizaria because Tales of Bizaria is not I, that on I did Steam. buy in the yeah. U.S. Yeah, yeah, that I did buy in the U.S. Yeah, yeah. So if you go to, I mean, this applies only applies to anyone in Japan right now. But if you go to SteamPower.com and your region is set to Japan, it won't come up if you type for Metal Gear Rising. If you type in Metal Gear, however, I mean, what what does show up? Metal Gear Survive, Metal Gear. Uh, you should get five and Phantom. Yeah, and Metal Gear Solid those. Five and Rising and and. Probably Ground Zeroes. Is it Ground Zeroes? Ground Zeroes should show up. Ground Zeroes should be there, yeah. They should yeah. all be there. Um, I mean, in what... Yeah, Ground, Ground, Zero, Ground Zero shows up, yeah. I mean, this is one of those games where I think, and it's something I've noticed this year, um, there's a lot of action games coming out this year. I mean, we got Wolong, like, because now the action genre is kind of fused into, like, Souls-likes, you know what I mean? And we got Wolong coming in March. We had Hi-Fi Rush in February. We've got Lies of P coming in like uh, the later half of this year. Oh, I forgot about that. That's insane. What a weird yeah, game. There's what a, a couple. There's yeah. a couple of those. You know, we had Bayonetta last year at the very end uh, in like November or whatever. Bayonetta three. And I, you know, it's just a, it's been a really great time if you've been on if you played action games. And if you if you have not played this game, it's really fun. You, it, honestly, I like it more That's than so Bayonetta. Fun. I, I like it more so than Bayonetta. Fun. It's, yeah, it's stupid. Yeah. It's stupid, and it knows it's stupid, and it yeah. goes all the way in on it. Yeah, so basically, okay, so today is the anniversary of Metal Rising, and uh, after hearing this news, I actually went on my Steam Deck, and I downloaded it. So I was playing right before the podcast, actually. I was playing, and well, yeah, uh, before dinner and, and before the podcast. I was playing Metal Rising on my Steam Deck, and by the way, the game is really fun. It's still good. Ten years on, um, still good. it plays very, very well. That being said, though, um, it runs well on a Steam Deck, but also it's tough to play on a Steam Deck. Uh, the screen is kind of small, and it was tough. You can't read text, basically. It's a oh, lot of text yeah. is illegible on a Steam Deck. It's too small, honestly. Um, but the gameplay is very... It, it runs at a solid 60 frames, and it's still just a very, very fun game. So I got past the intro. Uh, mm -hmm. I just beat the uh, Blade Wolf. Okay, okay. And, uh, yeah, it's the gameplay still holds up. It's... Good gameplay. It's, it's really good gameplay. Yeah. It's literally the concept of. I mean, I think the whole concept was what you're looking at right now was with Zansatsu or something. Zan whatever. Which just Zandatsu. Keep, Zandatsu. Just keep cutting. Cut. 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 In any way you want to. Any way. Uh, any direction for certain moments. And you know, I think that's what keeps it. You know, some things like that keep it fun. Even if you're not good with the game. You know, when you get to a moment like that, you're like, oh, just hit it. Just do it. Just do it. You the know, game, the game is really rewarding because uh, there's actually. OK, so there's no block button in this game. There's no block and there's, there's no a, dodge. There's a parry, correct? There's a parry. That's the only way yeah, to not yeah. do damage is to parry. I the guess the tells are run. really good. The tells are very, it's are very good, good. tells. Yeah. Yeah. So um, as you play through the game, you should ideally get really good at parrying weapon yeah. or mm -hmm. yeah, just attacks. And that is a really, really good gameplay loop because once you get a successful parry, it charges your like your your slowdown meter, like your your zandatsu meter, yep, your yep. free cut meter, your FC, yeah, free cut. So if you do a successful parry, you can slow time and you can enter that free cut mode, and you'll just like you can dice an enemy into like a hundred pieces. I, honestly, I feel like that's you know that's one of the appeals is that. That dice, I don't know. There's something about the feeling, even when you kind of rip the cores out of the, like, I, they're not cores, but you know, they're kind of so spine. the spines you like rip the spine oh, out of enemy. Oh yeah. my goodness, it feels so. It does, it does like good. a speed ramp. Yeah, I don't know if you can show it on on screen, but if you can imagine this, 
Um, so you, you like block a sword strike or whatever. You can f- slow time down. So the enemy is now kind of like faltering in slow motion. And then you can freely cut them and they're falling in slow motion and you're dicing in like normal speed. And then you can rip their spine out. And it is like a speed ramp. So like Raiden like reaches in really fast. But when he rips the spine out, it kind of slows down a little bit. It, and then it, he like it, just crushes it in his in his every, hand. Every, and you get a time. full... Yeah, and then you get like it. It heals you. That heals you too. And it heals so you. It, and every yeah. time you do it, like every time I did it on stream, I just I did the animation with it because it, it's satisfying. It, yeah, it so, is actually satisfying. Yeah. So it's a really satisfying gameplay loop of 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 rewarding. Like you feel very rewarded of successfully pairing an enemy strike. You feel really good because like yeah, I did it. Fuck you. And you're Here also like <laughs> yeah, and then you're like crushing this dude's <laughs> spine or whatever. And uh, the gameplay is just super fun. It holds up really well after ten years. So and it's it's you know it takes that wackiness that we've always had in Metal Gear series um, with the characters being you know they're they're I, you know I would say in Metal Gear they're pseudo serious. They're pseudo serious. This like this is like we're, they're like we don't give a <laughs> shit. I don't like we're gonna write we, dumb whatever. We're, yeah, we're, we we don't even care what you're fighting. Sometimes, man. Like yeah, some, we don't some care. of the bosses yeah, and, are and just like Raiden. Raiden has that like racist Mexican. <laughs> Oh my gosh! When that happened, I was like, "This cannot happen again, right? You can't, you we can't, can't just write put that. this. We yeah, can't put this yeah. in here again, right? Please don't yeah, tell me." Yeah, yeah. So for any, anyone who like doesn't know, there's like a part of the game where Raiden oh. tries tries to put on on a disguise, disguise, wearing, and go to Mexico. He's just wearing or a poncho. Was, he's just wearing a poncho. Yeah. Gosh, I want to find it. This is. I think this is the so, full playthrough. But it's, oh it, my it's gosh, so, like, it's so ridiculous. Did I just pass an anime girl too in here? <laughs> and you just like it's just it's like a cyborg ninja wearing a poncho and a sombrero, and that's like his disguise. Oh, and he he finds that little kid too. Yeah, he that finds kid, a little kid yeah. and it's just like, hey, yo, yeah. man, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was it was borderline racist, but at the same time, I was just like, uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so here that's... It's, here's the kid. <laughs> here's the kid. Can you find the disguise? Uh, I, I think the disguise is like right before here somewhere. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the kid. This is like yeah. the equivalent of when Resident Evil uh, went to Africa. Yeah, it was like the equivalent of that almost. But yeah, so this is the kid. And then right in. Yeah, puts yeah he's on, got puts that on a poncho. Yeah. It's sombra. When he cuts out the car, we'll, we'll see it. The dog was really sweet. I got to say the. Um, oh, Blade Wolf. Yeah. Blade Wolf. That was a cool little uh, companion. Uh, for literally something that was an enemy. Um, Spoiler alert! Yeah, if you're still not spoiled on this game, if you, but if you, it, if you yeah, it's like go, it's like it's like 30, 30 minutes into the game. It's like he's like the first yeah, boss fight, basically. It, but it's, yeah. it's not too far. So yeah, uh, but yeah, I mean, and, and of course we can't we can't mention this game without saying the the senator fight, the the speech, the end, the, the speech. The, uh, the so freaking, I'm pretty sure that speech okay. came true. I'm gonna tell you it, right it, now the yeah. speech. Not only are we, I did find the the punch. <laughs> okay, poncho. okay. So the the speech, the center speech, I think is a meme to hell at this point. That's yeah, fucking the poncho. Yeah. Uh, here's the. <laughs> so, I'm gonna put the center speech on here. So it's Trump. He literally says, "Make America great again." You know what's interesting about the speech is that it it's not quite to that level in the Japanese. It can't version. be. Eight four went well, too yeah. darn ham on this. Yeah, eight four, eight eight four is eight, so eight four is a localization team responsible for this game. But also, you know, you might have known them from like near Automata and like Undertale if you're playing in Japanese because they also did the English to J, to JP for Undertale. But yeah, they wrote the speech essentially. Yeah. So you have eight <laughs> four to thank for this speech, and this speech has been like memed to like all hell. It's this, too true. This speech has been so memed. Yeah, at this point. Look, I mean, listen, look at this, where the law changes to suit the individual, not the other way around. We live in this world today. I kid you not. This is. This yeah, this is America. This is America, man. America. Where the power and justice are back where they belong in the hands of the people. Of the people. This is this man led the the, the January 6th riot. Don't, don't I ain't fucking say lie. that. Don't, be, don't fucking say that, dude. Don't fucking say that. <laughs> this fictional character, Hagar. <laughs> this is crazy. Don't worry. He played football. He played football. He's good. He played football. I mean, that's not necessarily true, but like OJ Simpson <laughs> played football. Uh, yeah. So the uh, eight four wrote the the speech to this this to this fight basically, which is this is the final boss fight. Spoiler alert. Yeah, Senator fucking Armstrong. Um, I don't know, dude. <clears throat> it's a good game. Uh, mechanically, gameplay wise, it's a good game. Uh, in terms of like the story, it's super hammy. It's like insane. 
Um, and then it's just been memed to hell. Like now, there's so many memes about it, and the soundtrack is is pretty good. If you wanted a soundtrack that's like the soundtrack, legitimately yes. a good rock soundtrack, it's just this. It's on Spotify, by the way. Just go listen uh, to it. Just go listen to it. I mean, like yeah. it's it's something that it's something about like the way that it layers onto the fights, right? Oh um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So oh man, um, Platinum is the Platinum does this in a lot of the, they do this in Near for sure, but like though in a boss fight. You'll hear it'll start out with like in- instrumentals and that kind of thing, but like mm-hmm. once the boss fight reaches a certain point, like you get to a certain phase or you parry a the certain vocals. attack, Wait. then like the chorus kicks in and like it works really good. So Nier does this with dynamic soundtracks as well. If if you remember, um, I mean the the video game, remember the amusement park, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are parts in Nier when you're in the amusement park and you're like riding the the roller coaster. If you remember that part of the game. Yeah. Where the chorus, the main part of that song, will kick in during that sequence, and mm-hmm. it's like very dynamic, and it's very, very good. I mean, it's something that just like when you're, especially in this game, this game is very much it, like you get your, it gets your adrenaline going. It really gets your actual adrenaline going when you're in these fights, and when you hear the chorus and you hear everything just kick in for for real. Uh, yeah, the Sam fight is really good too. Like when when you when you hear and you, you're you're playing it. I don't know. It's something. It's a game that I felt like maybe sometimes at the time of playing, I didn't appreciate it as much. Um, but when I go back and I look at it, I'm like, man, I had a lot of fun with this. Like, I just had a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, it's a good game. Yeah. So I, I reinstalled it on my Steam Deck today just because of the anniversary talk. And I was like, oh, how, how is Metal Gear Rising? And I was like, yeah, it's still good. It's still good. It's still a good it's game. Still- Still the rising, still rising. Yeah, so it holds up really well. I just don't know. I've, you want to play Rising now? Uh, your options are going to be Steam, I guess, if you're not in Japan, or PS3, PS3 or Xbox, Xbox 360. 360. It's literally. So it's... I don't know if Konami would do a remaster. They could. They should probably. I, I, don't, I don't. You know, I don't. I don't even know who. I guess it would be Konami's choice. And it's Konami. It's Konami. Would, it's Konami yeah. would dev develop it again, maybe. So we've got this uh, tweet from Platinum Games for their, and this happened before the actual anniversary. They they tweeted this, but yeah, they're teasing a, a 10th anniversary event, uh, and they you know they did a little some. Well, that's a full remaster writing. confirmed, no, right? I I, I don't know. I I mean, well, do you want like, do you want do you want Revengeance two? Well, that's the thing. Do do you want Revengeance two or do you want the, a remaster? The, the, because the end, are they the, the are they one is the a same? Open ended. The ending is a little. Who, who's going to remember that ending? I mean, honestly, it? honestly. They could do a two, and it would be the same as them redoing one. I mean, it's, I mean, you just don't I mean? touch the game. The gameplay is perfect. Like, don't touch yeah, the gameplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They won't touch. Yeah, yeah. You're basically gonna be like, oh, well, if you didn't play one, don't worry. You're basically playing it now, but amped up. Like, you're good. Like, yeah, you're, like a you're freaking story, good. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like cost wise, I guess maybe it's better for them to do a remaster. I don't know yeah. if they I don't think they've ever done a remake, you know, or something like in between that. But um well, well for Metal Gear Solid, or this for Metal Gear, for, yeah, that would be for Rising or for yeah, for well for uh for Platinum. I don't know if they've updated any of their games to the, that level. Uh the closest thing I would probably say is near Replicant. That's the closest thing. It's not quite a re- it's like it's a really good remaster basically, mm-hmm, but yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't think they've done a full remake. Also, so, Platinum didn't. Never mind. Platinum didn't do. No, <laughs> no <Replicant>. Square. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was, yeah, that yeah. was Square, and then <laughs> yeah, Platinum didn't do Replicant. So, uh, so I don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I honestly, I kind of wish they did both, but I don't. You know, they don't have that much bandwidth in their studio. I don't. Yeah, feel and like Platinum's it. really hurt. Honestly, fucking Babylon's fault. Didn't, Babylon's fault. Square. Did square not, over here not, killing every everything. Got did killed. Not help past them, month. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. I I hope. I would hope for it too. I would hope for whatever we get, just some nice upgraded graphics with it. Keep it smooth. Make it 120 FPS. All the work on PC. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, even on console now, they can do it 100 FPS. Oh, that's true. Yeah. PS, yeah. And I believe both Xbox Series X and PS5 can do variable refresh. One, yeah. VDR. Yeah. yeah. Is, yeah. Is it, it's 120, right? 120 frames? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So as long as you so. have a compatible yeah. TV or monitor. Yeah. Yeah. Like that would be, yeah, that'd be sick because this game, this game deserves. It deserves a, a little bit of something. And the voice actor was teasing, saying, like, yeah, expect something to come uh, for Raiden. It was like, yeah. Oh, Quentin yeah. Flynn? Yeah, he's like, stay tuned for things to be announced in the coming weeks. Well, that's After a fucking... Replied. Well, no, then that's confirmed, then. That's Perhaps basically a Metal doing Gear the, Rising yeah. 2, 
along with the upcoming Metal Gear showcase might make it. What would you? I, okay, what if if there's gonna be a Revengeance sequel? What do you think is gonna be called? So for the full title is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. So what's the sequel gonna be called? Metal Gear Rising Resurgence. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty <laughs> good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Maybe Resurgence. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was thinking like Metal Gear Rising. I don't know, like extra, <laughs> extra revenge or super, extra revenge super sweet. vengeance. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I mean, honestly, if we, as long as we get it, I think that would be awesome. That would even make this get. Could you imagine if they just shadow drop it or like drop it within the next three you know, or four I months want, too? I, I wonder. Fudge. Platinum was like, I wonder. Platinum was like, they had a meeting and they're like, all right, guys. That one's fall didn't do very well. <laughs> Square's we need gonna let to it go. bust. We need it's like break in the, in like in a in a glass case. It's like break in case of emergency and just like Medica Rising <laughs> two. And like, rising. Have to fucking like we have to we've, do it. Yeah. We've held on to it for this yeah. long. Activate, yeah. <laughs> activate. And they have to fucking yeah. So platinum. I mean platinum. Like what oh, other than Rising two? Like what other games do you want platinum to make? Would do you want Astral Chain two or something like that or? I think Astro Train 2 is probably the one people would like, but they can't. I think now they're stuck in some weird spot in terms of, it, from what it seems like, Nintendo doesn't have any dev kits out there. There's no new Switch 2 at the moment that we've heard of. So, Did you play Astro Chain? No, it's, it's on my list to play. Did I'm getting play? to Breath of the Wild next month. See, I'm, oh I'm starting. I'm starting my journey. <laughs> um, so it means that Whatever they make, for whatever reason, it's always been on the Switch recently, uh, except for Babylon's Fall. Yeah, that was on PS5. And we Xbox we would PC, have to yeah. expect, of course, Astral Chain would be on, you know, it would be on Switch. I, I think Nintendo I owns Astral Chain. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't even, I don't even so, know. So, yeah, if there's going to be a new Astral Chain, then Nintendo would have to make it. It's not like it ran or not, bad. Let's publish it, publish it, publish it. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I heard anything about it running badly on the Switch. It's just a more, no. it's more the fact that like if they want to do more, like how they want to do with Bayonetta three, yeah, then they, they have they need to so. scale back. They gotta scale back. They gotta keep yeah. it the same. Just remix whatever they got. You know, I yeah. it was a good game. I enjoyed it. I loved it. Um, got a good aesthetic, good vibe. Combat was pretty fun. I don't know. In terms of my favorite combat from Platinum, was... either my internet died. Or his internet died, chat. Sorry, uh, I think I died. Okay, his internet I... died. It wasn't me. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, so if we're talking about combat, if we're talking about like, my favorite combat from, from Platinum Games, it's probably going to be either... Um, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, either Rising, Rising, or honestly, maybe Bayonetta for my favorite Platinum combat. Yeah, I could see that. Like, I, I would say Rising. I have a love-hate thing with Bayonetta. Combat, I love it. Combat sequences, sometimes I don't. It's, it's, okay. yeah. So that's where I go. Definitely. Yeah. I, 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 but which time and like some of the, the pairing stuff with which time like there, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's straight up good. Yeah. I think in, if we're just, if we're just talking pure combat like mechanics, it's, it's either Bayonetta or, or Rising. Astro Chain, though, is a really good game just because I enjoyed the aesthetic of it, like how the mm -hmm. game, how the mm -hmm. world is basically. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I mean, that's, that's Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Hopefully, we get a we get a sequel or we get so a remake. I, I'm expecting a, something. Yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't know there was an event. I didn't know they announced an event, but now that they announced something, and Quentin Flynn is basically like winking at us. He's like, "Yo, yeah, I'm basically expecting something now." What are you expecting? A sequel or a remaster or both? Or like, what if what we you... just get a re? We just get a soundtrack and some uh, a concert. What if we get a concert? It could literally just be a concert. I mean, that'd be kind of. I mean, I'm, I would go. I'd maybe go to it. That'd be kind of cool. But like, we might just get yeah. a concert. Yeah, I'm expecting. I'm. Ex I'm. I'm expecting a remaster. I don't know if I'm expecting a sequel. I don't know. Would you or? I feel like a remaster is more and 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 like just making it to where everyone can play it is more of a yeah. goal than actually making a new one. Um, yeah. But I yeah. feel like. I wish they would make a two so then they could they could actually you know keep the same mechanics but add more if they wanted to. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they could they could go even more crazy if they wanted to. Yeah. Um, yeah, my bet is on a remaster, but I think a sequel would be perfectly fine. So yeah. Last up 